Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm thrilled to guide you through integrating Firebase push notifications into your Flutter project. But before diving in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. Let's jump right into it. I've already set up a demo Flutter project for us. First, create a Firebase project I'll name mine Flutter Project. Go to the Project Settings, click the Cloud Messaging tab, and enable the Cloud Messaging Legacy API. Next, click on the Flutter icon. Download the Firebase CLI based on your device and run Firebase Login to log into your account. Since I've already created the Flutter project, I'm skipping the Flutter Create step. Next, click Next and install the Flutter Fire CLI using the given command. If you encounter any warnings, add the provided path to your terminal slash bash slash zsh profile and configure the Flutter Fire CLI accordingly. Once the configuration is completed, an automatically generated Firebase options Dart file with all the Firebase project details will be created. Import the packages and initialize the Firebase app. If you see any red lines, Click on Quick Fix to add the packages to your dependencies. Flutter will automatically install them, or you can use the Flutter pub get command. Add the command widgets flutter binding. Ensure initialized to interact with the flutter engine. Firebase. Initialize app needs to call native code to initialize Firebase asynchronously, so call ensure initialized to ensure you have an instance of the widgets binding. Reload the project and you'll see multiple apps created for different platforms on the Firebase console. Download the Google service. JSON file and add it to your app folder inside the Android folder. Add the ID and class path in the build. Gradle files of the app and Android files, respectively.
Now, search for Flutter Firebase push notification and click on Documentation. Install necessary packages. Make changes in the Android manifest. XML file and add the set auto init enabled command in the main. Dart. Go to the Receive Message section, copy the permission code, and create a separate function request permission with the code. Once done, add the foreground method for notification and comment the initialize method in the background handler. Go to the test message section, copy the FCM token code, print it using the print system in the main function and run the flutter run command.
copy the FCM token, go to messaging in the Engage section of the Firebase console sidebar, and create a new campaign for Firebase push notification. Add title and body, click on Send Test Message, add the FCM token, and send. If you are seeing message, Analytics Library is missing. Add Firebase Analytics in dependencies in pubspec.yaml file. And that's a wrap for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Happy coding!